all right guys and now we are still continuing with the same case because i got real distracted with talking and once again i'm kind of sorry about that but i love i love talking with chat it's it's fun um what are you so what are we hiding in Why here are we... this thing needs a combination i know exactly what this is It is two five three. Just don't know how to dance the bebop. <laughs> oh, religious. Wife submits your husbands as to the Lord. 23, for the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body, which he is the Savior. Absolutely. Like, there's there's other games that I've... I love watching. Uh, Undertale is a big one that I love watching. Um, and I love the game itself. I just don't have a... I'm not good at... RPGs like that. I don't... I don't... Okay. What about the blood in there? What about the blood? Right there! I'm looking at it! it looks like a very bloody scalpel. Cut someone who was already dead. It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. You must have seen it during the war. I mean, this fruit skull punk gets about ten seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. He's gone right now, isn't he? Clem! All right. Should've done that. God damn it, get after him, Cole. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. Oh my god, you hit a car. Or hit a car. this asshole off the road. This asshole's already off the road. Helps! You gotta get me closer! Should have grabbed him when we had the chance, Phelps. When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. Uh, uh. Strange that he gave a trail of blood right back to his own market. Anyone would be caught. He didn't do it. Hit him, Cole! Spin him out! I'm sorry. I'm trying to shoot out his tires. Wish also, I wish the pit maneuver actually worked. It's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. You're an idiot for trying that. Sick man, Clem. We need help. <laughs> Look what I did here. Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. Ah, he's drinking. The poor woman can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fiend a personal visit myself and remind them the crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. I hope for good reasons. Now, on your way. Not. Oh my God! These two detectives—they fucking suck. Causing me so much damage. I am hoping it's really just like, man, these guys—these are really good detectives. 
they, they deserve a uh, raise, things like that. It is those things looking at the case notes. Given the size of Clem's stash, it's a wonder you didn't catch him red-handed at the El Dorado. I don't know if that ends up being things like, hey, if you actually looked around a little more, maybe you would have come across this. I hope that's the case, because guess what? That means on a second playthrough, if you remember, you can go and actually like figure all this stuff out maybe beforehand. Sarge, why are the guys giving it to the doggies? They're riding in trucks, numbskull, while you're marching. They look pretty numbskull. badly beat up. Yeah, they do it then. Scuttlebutt says it's pretty hard going down south. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Recon always leads. How can we fail, Skip, with the shadow leading the show? Who the fuck is the shadow? Lieutenant Phelps, the shadow of death. What the fuck are you talking about? He's a quiet fucker, Sarge. Never hear the bastard come. You're sitting there, field stripping a cigarette, and suddenly he's there looking down on you. Why do you think we keep saluting that jab loving son of a bitch? He's bad juju. That's enough out of you three! Bad juju? Where are you dragged up? A swamp? Slaying. Hey, lady. Hey, creepy guy. She looks, she looks real drunk here. Yeah. Good morning, gentlemen, and what a grand morning it is, too. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice showy trial, and he'll be strapped down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile Ooh. brain. Now, to fresh business. I got a little dark. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown of Fremont Avenue. All right. Skipper, is the new letter genuine? Now, boys, we all know how many imbeciles have invested in a short case. Dip, 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 dip. That railing looks real short. Fine morning indeed. We keep like, locking that's, them up. That's the waist tight. Piling up. Yeah, California's love of fat, Phelps. As long as the bricks hold up at San Quentin, there'll always be killers in this town to say. I mean, usually they're like lower chest height. Oh, look, it's raining. Readings from sunny California. Stop. First the letter, and now another body. Come on, you can't keep on telling me there's not a killer still out there. You know, Phelps, all these arrests on your record are giving you a reputation. Uh-oh. You don't want them turning into unsolved. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive than an ocean full of minnows. The minnows make it the man. But you can't always hit home runs. Sometimes you just gotta make first base. Also very true. Some Galloway homicide. Scene is secure. The rest of the patrolmen are going door to door, canvassing for witnesses. Thanks. Keep me informed. All right. Will do, detective. I love how we don't have. This looks awfully familiar. Raincoats. I think that's the impression the boys from the Examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have so far? Not much trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around ten last night, and the rain washed most of it away. And the body? Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's triple braid again. Time of death, 
Firmer temperature, maybe 2 a.m., but it was cold last night. Usual head injuries. Close. Blunt force trauma. Knock him over the head, then strangle and mutilate. No message with this one. At least she was left clothed. I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. The green silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. And no handbag or other personal effects. Alright, what's around here? What? God, why can't people just pick up the trash? It's a bottle. I don't care about the bottle. Come on. Let me take a look at B. I want to look at B. Those is no footprints marks. are raised. The killer was moving around, surveying the scene. Okay. driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. Mm -hmm. Anything else I should be? Oh, wait. Um. I forget. Not stats. That's Actually, stats gives me, I think this gives me a time. What's total time? Well, game time fourteen hours. That's that's total. That's between both playthroughs. I wanted to change my jacket, but I guess I can't do that right now. Oh, look, five dollars. Nope. So I was investigating this case, and then I found five dollars. Good story. hand also no wedding ring ripped off also no wedding ring superior to be a dry cleaning label superior laundry services f1363 anything else does not look like it Call box. What is the clock place? Um, what do you mean, Sabrina? Like, what time is it? Where I'm at? Or Detectives, I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. Detective Phelps, LAPD. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. Did you see anyone around here last night? Not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. Do you have a description? Tall, gaunt. Horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident. In it the is war. about 2:30 p.m. Very for me. Scary, angry man. Any idea where we might find him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all follow him around. Hobo Thank leader, you, huh? You've been a big help. Of course. Anything I can do to help. And I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing ghastly. be done about it. Ghastly. All right, now back to the phone box. Yay, DeBerry Games is back. <laughs> that was the exact Cold reaction that I would have if you find out that the camera's like, you're, you're walking into a camera shot, just like, da -da -da. Oh, okay, whoops. I need an address on Superior Laundry Services. Just a moment. Superior Laundry Services, 1260 West 1st Street. 
Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, detective. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Thanks. All right. Hey, buddy, you're driving. Move over. You know the way. You can drive. Oh, and where exactly man. are we going? KTI Radio. No message. Excuse me? There was no message. Where? On the Vic. The last body's had something written on it. This one and this one was closed. I'm failing to follow you. Can't be the same guy as what he's saying, right? Before you start trying to link this to Maldonado and all the others. There are more factors to consider <laughs> than the messages, Rusty. This doesn't fit your pattern. Uh, End of conversation. Five dollar foot the five dollar foot longs actually aren't that great. Like a lot of those sandwiches are not that good. I'm a, I'm a Subway Club kind of guy, which is unfortunately not a $5 for long. Hey, oh, me first, me first. Rain stop. Change back into the light box. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. We're investigating a case, and one of your laundry labels came up. F1363. If you give me a minute, I'll go find a register and you can take a look. You take a look for yourself. I've got clothes that need pressing. You're gonna run, aren't you? You wrote the number down on that dress, is it there? Ah, uh, clues. Laundry label. F1363. Silk dress. So just checking this out. Out of my way. Out of my way. Out of. Move. Thank you. Can you drive to this one? Fine. Where are we headed? I've got a feeling we're about to meet another wife killer. You've always got that feeling, Rusty. Yeah, and it's usually correct. Please, please, for once, can you not let your assumptions color your detective work? Just you wait. Nordic types show a particular disposition for this stuff. Um, because it's usually quicker if he drives. It's like taking a cab in Grand Theft Auto. Uh, it'll usually go through the piece of dialogue that may, that's uh, relevant, and then it'll fade out, and then you load into here. Um, whereas if you drive, you actually have to make that full drive, and it's it's just longer. Plus, I'm not super gung ho on the driving mechanics. Uh, it feels like the car is both light and heavy at the same time. Hello? Yes? Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Is your wife home, sir? My wife went out last night and she hasn't come home. Can you describe your wife and what she was wearing? We were out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's, for a Bob party. Bob Ross's party? She was kind of dolled up. She had her green silk dress, open-toed white shoes. Those are her favorite shoes. Can we come in, Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. Don't don't say that. Do you have someone who can look after your children, Mr. Tarleton? I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. 
I'm afraid your wife was murdered last night. Her body was found this morning. Right, right in front of the kids! Was. What is with him and telling people are murdered right in front of the kids? I know this is a difficult time, Mr. Terrelson, but we are gonna need you to answer some questions. First, we're gonna take a look around. What for? You don't think this that- procedure. You see to your girl. Yeah, that's that is true. Stay here till Daddy's finished talking to these men. Where's Mommy? Everything's gonna be all right, sweetheart. We would like Mommy to come home now, Daddy. What's the problem, mm -hmm. Carlson? Let him search. You got nothing to hide. Unless you do. You want to hear something funny, Carol? Some bums think filling out a missing persons report actually ruins. To check if she was a regular. I wonder why the picture was turned down. It's also a valid question. Why was the picture turned down? Are they, are they having a fight? Oh, there's a bag. Nothing significant. That's stupid. All right. the kids room optimistic Cole the new oh that's not what I was looking at I doubt it it's a boat it's a pretty cool looking nothing. Hey, look, another one. Baron's bar again. Someone must be real sweet on this dive. Children? If you'd excuse me, ladies. Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. Look, another bag. This one I'll open though, because this one's apparently relevant. She'd have to be in quite a state to leave this behind. Or just real drunk. At least she was spared that particular indignity. Moment of truth. The moment of truth. We can see if Pinker can match the impression of the crime scene. I fucking saw his hates. Oh my god, it's a life size boat. with the ligature marks. Is there anything else that I need to worry about in, out here? Probably not. That's not useful. out in the rain last night. There it is. That was the last one. I'll be out of your way momentarily, ladies. Now for you. For the record, Mr. Tarleton, what is your wife's name? Teresa. Do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. 
Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. It can't be anyone who knew her. So you don't know anyone Bullshit. who would want her dead? Bullshit! No, I don't. That look that he was giving was the look of being emotional. Not you that he was lying. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place? That's right, Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. Alright, now your head's doing a little twitchy thing. Drunk wife leave the party and go off. Oh, my nose is so itchy. Look, I was angry. I was having a good time. She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night she wanted to go dancing. Any idea where? Where she always goes. A bar down on North Beaudry Avenue. The Baron's Bar. She goes there, drinks too much, gets maudlin, and calls me. I go and bring her home. Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? Yeah, I think she was. Ooh, that's real telling. Is there anything in here that tells me no? Nah. Spill it, Terrelson. We like the look of you for this, so you better give us something. We're at the party. She has a few and says she wants to go out dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad. I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. What time did she leave the party? About 8.30, maybe a little earlier. When was the last time you saw your wife? Around 8.30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. I paid the sitter and went to bed. Hmm. You know what? You're lying, Lars. You didn't come straight home, did you? And how do you figure that? I really oh. Really hoping that the, the it didn't start raining until last like late last night. You were out in the rain. Fuck yes. You got soaked, Lars. We found your wet weather gear. Okay, I stayed a little later than I said. This cute little brunette was hitting on me. <sighs> Teresa noticed. I was half cut. I walked her home from Bobby's, but nothing happened. I walked back and got the car this morning. Thanks for answering our questions, Mr. Charlson. You'll need to go downtown to identify your wife's body. I should have taken her dancing. In my experience, Mac, if you give in to Brods, you'll be giving in to them your entire life. Hmm. We could break the husband's story right now. Call in, get some uniforms dispatched, check out his alibi. Where is the phone? Where is the phone? I see the phone. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, detective? Can you run an address for a Bobby Ross? Then send some uniforms over. Would you like him picked up? No. Suspect says he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll get a prowl car dispatched. Ooh, a prowl car. Thanks for your help. Appreciate your time, sir. You can drive. And where um, exactly are we going? Go to the bar. You believe this guy's story? Kind of rings true.
Baron's Bar. I love these waitresses. Everyone's a dog. Gents, drink? Of course. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. I'm Benny Clough. This about Teresa Terrelson? Yes, it is. I heard about it on the radio. They're saying it was that Black Dahlia freak again? God damn it. Yeah, I rang that husband of hers. The babysitter said he was out. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. What time did Teresa leave? Uh, around uh, 10.30, I think. There's nothing in there that really says time. On foot? In a car? By bus? How was it? She called for a cab. Did you get the number? Sure I did. I like Therese. The only time she has a drink is when things aren't going so good at home. I was worried about her. I can't decide between the tuna fish and the chicken. Put out an APB on the cab. 3591. Should be traceable. Who was she with? We've had reports about a tall, gaunt-looking hobo. He wasn't here last night? I get plenty of bums in here. But nothing to fit that description. Hmm. The likelihood is that whoever she left here with killed her. Looked a little smug Give there. Give it up, Benny. All right, two creeps were all over her. Promising to take her dancing. You get a good look at these guys? Sure. I got a good look. One of them was a sailor, in uniform. His cap said, uh, USS Indiana. And the other man? The other guy is Richard Bates. He's sitting in the back right now. Red polo shirt. Any idea where she was headed? Uh, nope. I didn't get that. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. She was murdered, Benny. Brutally I murdered. If you also like this lady, like that. you should give us something. Just, nope, I You're didn't. telling me I'm not I cooperating? Didn't hear anything. Watch it, pal. Thank you for your help, Mr. Bluff. We'll take it from here. Hey, no problem. Hey, it's dude, this bro. This Bates. That's him. LAPD. Don't make me chase you, shitbird. You're making us chase you, shitbird. Can't let the son of a bitch get away. I thought you were gonna leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's cornered? We could have a killer on our hands. Uh, uh. Come on, Phelps, you're letting this lust get away from you. It's on a hill, okay? Excuse me. I can't break through this? How can I not break through a wooden fence? Those cars are steel. God damn it, get after him, Cole. I thought you were gonna leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's cornered? We could have a killer on our hands. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tire. God, oh my god. You just killed like two people there. Clean this asshole off the road. I don't think the killer would be kicking back in the bar where he met the victim. Listen, a creature of habit is your killer. For some reason, they're sticklers for routine. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. I think I'm doing a pretty damn good job there. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. Let's end this farce. All right. All right. You got me. I've had enough. Hands behind your head. Okay, Bates. You're going to answer some questions. 
I have a choice in this? Nope. Not anymore. You killed two people back there. I... Nope. Last night, you went drinking with a lady in the bar. Now she's dead. And your face is all messed up. I'm in the clear on that. She preferred a sailor. You could lay it off on him. Are we finished? Do you want my partner to sap you? Tell us what we want to know. She was okay. She's a big old Drunk, pissed wooden off at her old bat. man, wanting to go dancing. I thought I'd ply her with a few drinks and get oh, my yeah. hand away. It took me a second there like to figure out what you were talking about, but yeah, cool, 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 glass. So what happened when you left the bar? Sailor boy laid one on me. A cheap shot. After that, I don't know. got the same fucking look on your face. You've done time, haven't you, Richard? Is that why you ran? I'm on parole. On what offense? Sexual assault. Look, I was lying there on the sidewalk. He flags a cab and jumps in with the broad. We're taking you in, Bates. How come? Just for a chat. Nice private chat. I'm gonna I'll hold this my back. Theory of once a degenerate, but... always a degenerate. Take him to Central. He's a material witness in a murder case. Find him a cozy cell. Richard here knows the drill. Outfits, there we go. Mm, no, nah, I'll stick with this one. Whoop. Phelps, batch twelve forty seven. How could I help, Detective? I need an APB out on a yellow cab, number thirty five ninety one. Ask dispatch to relay all sightings to car eleven K. No problem. I'll get on the radio. Okay. Were there any incident reports filed in the vicinity of Barron's Bar on North Beaudry Avenue? We're tracking a sailor who was involved in a fight outside the bar. I can check the reports, Detective. I have a message for you from Captain Donnelly. Message reads, James Jessup, U.S. Navy Able Seaman, has information relevant to your case. Jessup is currently being detained at Central Station. So there's a bunch Could of people at that. Central right now. Thanks, man. Alright, give me like two seconds. I have a fan on and it is getting really cold, so I will be back in two seconds. Also, you didn't see that. You didn't see the fact that I just walked away with my headphones on, which are wired. Yeah, no, I agree. That's That would be the reason why I would do it, but maybe I'll do that in the future. But for right now, it's just a matter of getting the, like getting the game completed. You're behind the wheel. Fine. Where are we headed? I think we ought to investigate the hobo lead. Now, well, if you think we ought to, then I guess we ought. Drag it on Shadow, you saw nothing. 
you you were seeing things. We're looking for a tall man with a disfigured face. Do you know him? Huh? What? I fought in two wars, you know, huh. son. And the guy earned some peace and quiet. Ah, uh, the bum isn't here. Look at these people. We should follow the other lead. These guys can wait. Nope. Alright. Oh, okay, so that's all. Alright. Oh. I just decided to make things difficult. Great, go me. Hey! Fuck you! Isn't that the cop? Excuse me? Oh god, the Illuminati. out of my way. You, can't do this. you were floating on something. My eggs are running. That's the guy from the paper. It's all that big cake. What are you, liquor up? Wow, that looks like a Oh my god, what is going on? Am I like the fucking Hulk? Like, I'm not even running. And I just ran into that guy and he just flipped out. Slow down! Thank you! What's your beef with this guy, Phelps? That's disgusting. Didn't you ever hear of germs? Ew. Alright. Alright, to Bear Games, thanks for uh thanks for coming by. drive. I need to go over the case notes. Where exactly are we going? He's in an interview, too. Thanks. What do you make of him? Sailor on furlough, who looks like he's in trouble and knows it. I've been in hey, buddy. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. We know why you're here, Jessup. So it would be best if you answered our questions truthfully. I don't want any trouble. That's why I'm here. I heard on the radio about this lady getting killed. I got leave from my CO to come down straight away. So why did you kill her? I didn't kill anyone. Look, you need to believe me. Let's start at the beginning. You went to Baron's Bar. What time did you arrive? I got a 24-hour pass. I got there around 7. That's where you met Teresa Terrelson? Sure. We had a couple of drinks. Mm-mm-mm. So you tried to make a woman who was incredibly drunk? Look, I'm not proud of myself, but I never hurt her. You took her dancing? That's right. Caught a cab to the Crystal Ballroom. 
You had a fist fight with Richard Bates over Mrs. Terrelson. You met the guy? He's a creep. You should take a look at him for this. Oh my, you have such shifty eyes. He's pointing the finger directly at you, Jessup. I only had one night before I was back in the tub. He had all the time in the world to look for some action. I belted him. I'd do it again. She was better off with me. Sure. You're a shining example of chivalry, Jessup. We're holding you till we can clear this with the driver. Yeah, my CO said as much. Can you put the guy in two in a cell and inform the commander? Sure, detective. Got a message for you. Sighting of your disfigured hobo on Brand between Temple and Sunset. And it looks like the bow has a record, too. He's wanted in connection with two female assaults. Thanks. All right. Can you drive to this one? I'm back to the hobo camp. Fine. Where are we headed? Go shove some more people around. Three suspects in the can and one on the hook. And still no hard evidence on any of them. KGPL to car 11K, 11K, come in. 11K, go ahead. Patrolman reporting that Bobby Ross's car game is breaking up at midnight. 11K, roger that. Only have time to get downtown, Cole. It's possible. Have them bring him in. KGPL, we have Lars Carrollson picked up. It'd be a fun to have that power. Just like, yeah, can we, can we bring that guy in? I just snapped to sitting. Also, why are we walking in with a shotgun? LAPD. Also, why are you shutting the door? We'd like a word with you. Save it for someone who's interested. They're fascists. Come to move us on and steal what little we have left. Six rounds won't get us far. How we are uh, we're fist fighting when they have What's your weapons. Name? Like, Comrade Stalin. Very funny. We'll find out from your personal effects. Stuart Ackerman. You're under suspicion for murder, Ackerman. We're taking you downtown. You, you can't do anything more to me than what the Japanese have already done. What if it's that picture of the guy who's in here? Kremlin's over here, Phil. Thought to see what you find. That's not a good start. Ackerman doesn't look like much of a dancer. Looks familiar. Safe bet it'll match the mark under Teresa Terrelson's chin. Oh, yeah, we got another newspaper. Still working, Jack. I'm off to 
to the Lighthouse Club in Santa Monica. Hello, Jack. Mr. Vincent, this is Courtney Sheldon. It's a buddy of mine from the war. Well, I'm sure you two will want to polish some old war stories. Good evening, Jack. Mr. Sheldon. Good night, sir. Take a seat, Courtney. We need your help, Jack. I told you I would have nothing to do with that. I'm fine too, Jack. Medical school's going well. I got a part-time job. Do dope peddlers need part-time jobs? We made a mistake and we're in trouble, Jack. A local gangster, Mickey Cohen, is putting on the squeeze. So hand it over, walk away. What's stopping you? We had a deal with them that they would dole it out slowly. They said they would supply abortion clinics and doctors, but they've been moving it on to addicts, and they can't cope with the purity. So your problem is with gangsters being dishonest. My problem is that people are dying, and that if this gets back to us, we'll all end up in jail. So how am I supposed to help, Courtney? This isn't the war. I can't just wave a magic wand and clean up your mess. Negotiate, Jack. The only thing these guys understand is force, Sheldon. They got to the top back east by proving to be more vicious than the English, the Irish, and the Dutch. They make their own laws. That's the nature of a secret society. I'd say, Courtney, you want to be a doctor. How can you fight with that? We are better trained. I didn't make it through the war to come back to this kind of shit, Sheldon. Hmm. <laughs> if you look real closely at that, it's Laura Mipsum text. Are you drunk, mister, or are you just crap? Felt, Lee. I'm a fucking asshole. Hey, you. I wish What's I could. your beef with this guy, Phelps? That's disgusting. Didn't you ever hear of germs? Phelps. Leave him be. It's just, it's funny. The actual idea of it is really this? a fucking asshole move. Isn't that the cop like, it's just kind of funny when it's in game that you have to trigger stuff like that. And it's like, oh, and... What's your beef with this guy, Phelps? Oh, this guy's, this hey, guy's tough. fuck you, asshole! You can't do this! Phelps, leave him be. I feel like there's still more here. But maybe not. Alright, let's go back to the car. You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? Go back to the police station. The husband has an alibi, but no real motive other than neglect. Jessup's alibi checks out. Bates is a recidivist. He'll be 
pulling the same stick until we put him away for good. Ackerman has history, opportunity, hard evidence. What motive? We have the evidence. We know she was here. All we need is a confession. We can charge the bum with murder. Odd man out. I say we bust in there and go this way. Goddamn evidence. Mouthy first stripped off me at the grand jury. Case got thrown out. Now the DA wants my hand. Ackerman, you were in the Marines. How do you know? The Corps selected big guys for flamethrower duty. That's how you got the burns. Life expectancy was five minutes for a guy in flamethrower detail. What kind of a government puts weight like that on a man's shoulders? You'll get no argument from me. It was a heavy load. You feeling sorry for this smelly fuck? Why did you kill Mrs. Terrellson? I have no recollection of the people I have killed. Are you denying that you strangled Mrs. Terrelson with a length of rope? I'm not denying anything. You have to have proof, lackey. We found a matching piece of rope in your lean-to. I think we'll find the blood will match, too. I own no property. How could it belong to me? A bus driver dropped Mrs. Terrelson near your camp around 2 a.m. Why did you take her up to the hill? Which hill? I have many places. I go where I please. You are clearly insane, Ackerman. The state of California does not execute mental patients. I don't know the names of the women I've killed, but I've killed many of them. Their necks are so fragile. Stuart Ackerman. I am charging you with the murder of Teresa Terrelson. A man down on his luck I can abide. But a filthy red who chooses to live outside the rules of society, I cannot stomach. Maybe poor Theresa Tarleton will provide the catalyst we need. I've spoken to the chief and the mayor, and I think it's time we send some men in to remove the godless and send them on their way over the county line. A grand day that will be, gentlemen. And the grand results you have brought me. You two are fast becoming my finest crusaders. So, didn't interview the cabbie? Oh, I didn't interview the cabbie. Where was the cabbie?
the studio secretary murder. I'm aware that it's an election year. Keep a hold of your hat, Counselor. Now is not the time to lose your nerve. It would appear that someone has hocked a rose gold wedding ring, a matching engagement ring. Sound familiar? Deirdre Muller. Press the pawnbroker and see what you can find out. The address is 348 South Main Street. The Muller case goes before the grand jury next week, and the DA does not want any egg on his face. Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe Avenue. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside a railroad line. Forty-year-old white man. Right, Skipper. All right. Once again, for those of you who aren't aware, uh, I usually post all of these videos, all or at least my streams, on YouTube in about one-hour increments. Uh, we have hit that hour mark for this part. So, I'm going to end the video, or the recording. So, thank you all so much for watching. I'm Blurry Phoenix, and game on.